In this Delcross application presentation, we highlight the use of our Savant software for modeling both far fields and near fields for a tower-mounted configuration of three 900 megahertz cellular arrays. Savant is designed to analyze installed performance of antennas and antenna arrays in very electrically large scenarios. Savant's results include the interaction between the antenna or array and its host platform. In this study, we'll consider a 900 megahertz cellular service antenna mounted near the top of a 40 meter high tower. The tower is 120 wavelengths high at 900 megahertz and was imported directly into Savant as a detailed CAD model. The tower top antenna consists of three antenna arrays, each covering a 120 degree sector in azimuth. Each array antenna consists of a pair of cross dipoles, and each array has eight cross dipole elements, a total of 16 dipoles per array. The elements are located a quarter wavelength above the ground plane, which is 0.66 meters wide by 2 meters tall. The ground planes for the arrays are modeled in Savant using parametric plate definitions. To define the array, we've used Savant's dipole element definition rendered as a current source model and the integrated array definition feature to quickly build up steerable collinear array models. In Savant's parametric array definition, we set an array beam steering angle to steer the resulting fan beam to an elevation of minus five degrees. Savant computes the far field for this array in seconds, and you can see the simulated 3D far field radiation pattern on the left. In the middle, you see the far field elevation cut through the vertical plane perpendicular to the ground plane, showing maximum radiation at the minus five degree elevation as expected. On the right, you can see an azimuth pattern cut at an elevation of minus five degrees. The 3 dB azimuth beam width is about 80 degrees, and the 6 dB beam width is nearly 100 degrees. Here is our triple array simulation model in the Savant application. You can see here the complete 3D far field radiation pattern when all of the arrays are transmitting simultaneously and each is aimed at a minus five degree elevation. As I rotate the model, you can see some interesting features in the far field pattern. At azimuth angles between the array faces, you can see strong side lobes where the signals from neighboring arrays both reinforce and cancel. The pattern strength is encoded in both the surface and the coloring. These patterns include any scattering effects introduced by the tower and supporting structures. Let's take a look at the azimuth pattern cut at the minus five degree elevation. Here is the array cut through the main beam over the entire 360 degree azimuth view. To this result, I can overlay the same far field pattern cut for the single array in isolation aligned with one of the arrays in the full problem. We can also view the elevation pattern cut for the full array and overlay on it the same cut from the single array simulation. Directivities are lower for the full array since we have what are effectively three main beams, but differences in the pattern makeup for the installed arrays do exhibit some significant differences. We can easily flip Savant from the far field mode to a near field simulation mode. You are now viewing horizontal and vertical slices of the near field in a volume surrounding the antenna systems. The sampled volume is roughly 50 by 50 by 12 wavelengths, sampled every eighth of a wavelength. You can see field strengths near the antenna, tower, and supporting structure when all of the arrays are driven simultaneously. This condition shows the maximum relative field strengths in the structures. Thank you for viewing this Dell Cross Technologies presentation. For more information, including future or recorded webinars, please visit dellcross.com. Additional application videos are also available on our YouTube channel. Dell Cross Technologies are your specialists in RF cosite modeling and asymptotic electromagnetic analysis.